All right, so it's that time of the year we get our final collaboration of 2024. Typically, at the end of October, we always get a collaboration, and typically, they are always a new collaboration. Last year was obviously Overlord. The year prior to was that was Shield Hero. So honestly, this year, I thought we were going to get Shangri-La Frontier, and I still expect that to be one of the next collaborations. If we ever do get a new, new collaboration in Grand Cross, I do suspect that will be the newest one. But leaks have suggested that this is most likely going to be a rerun. Or is it? You saw the thumbnail. You know the two collaborations which it could be. Just talk about it. I saw this Reddit post where someone thought it was going to be One Piece, which it's not One Piece, but you can watch this video, which is the closest thing you're going to get to One Piece collaboration in uh, Grand Cross. Okay, so it's run through everything we know so far about the next update. So we got this leak earlier in the week, which lost some hope a little bit for me in terms of collaboration because we got a catastrophe leak. Apparently, they are working on a new catastrophe banner, which is very bad, for being honest, because we thought we were done with the catastrophes throughout the whole year, especially headed in towards the end of October leading into November, December. These are the big banners. And what I will say is though, and I'll probably talk about a little bit later on, but there's probably something big cover November. That means nothing to you lot right now, but it will make more sense later on. At least not in this video, but maybe I can talk about it later. So yeah, then potentially added a new OC banner. Lost some hope a little bit for a new collaboration. The main reason why is because we found in the dev notes that they actually said they plan to release two to three collaborations each year. And we've already gotten three collabs this year. So did that mean the October collaboration was cancelled? Honestly, it was looking like it. But then we got some leaks from, of course, Seven Deadly Sins leaks. You lot know it by now. That brought back some hope for the game. And this is what he said. He said, saving time is over. Meaning a pretty big banner is coming. And there's no way he's saying that if a new catastrophe is coming. And since we kind of always figured we're going to be getting a collaboration at the end of October. Something big must be coming. And then he posted this image right now on screen. This is from, I guess, Skyrim. I don't know what game it's from. Correct me in the comments down below. But this is the tease because this is what alexa 76 leaks likes doing now he likes to tease what's coming rather than outright spoil it which too fair makes for a good video and, and too fair doesn't really ruin the fun a little bit so it's called dubious food it's too gross to even look at a bizarre smell with issues from the heap of it eating it won't hurt you though probably and the first thing people thought of and honestly i wouldn't mind it is dungeon meshi delicious in dungeons which is a absolutely banger anime can know it for next season and yeah if you all don't know Currently, right now, another Netmarble game, which is Seven Nights Idol Adventure, they are literally having a Dungeon Meshi collab, and you can see all the four characters. Marcel, you know, the normal standard characters, and the Red Dragon actually is the main villain, which is, I mean, pretty cool for this game. I really wouldn't mind it in Grand Cross, actually. But rather again, Chilchuk, is that his name? I thought it's pronounced it differently in dub. I wouldn't mind getting Fallon as, like, the Red Dragon. That would be pretty sick. The more likely to make her an actual boss fight. But this was the first four, especially considering that right now Netmarble is having a collab literally on the other game. Uh, but I do think, probably likely-wise, it's not this. Although, I do now think this is a possible collaboration in the future for, obviously, Grand Cross. It's just... It wouldn't make sense for Netmarble to collab with the same IP on two different games at the exact same time. Is it possible? Sure. But is it likely? Probably not. But what I will say is though is that it does fit that theme of getting a new collab at the end of October. But do remember we did get Tower God at the start of the year. Which might have thrown off a few things where... Yeah, our actual new collaboration got released early in this year rather than at the end of the year. And in the next one, people realize, and to be honest with you lot, this is actually probably the more likely one, especially considering that obviously Seven Leagues is kind of hyping up a little bit by saying the time for saving is over. Because would he say that about Dungeon Meshi? Probably not. But what he would say it for is, well, yeah, you saw the thumbnail. Hey, that time I got recarded as a slime part three collaboration. And what better collaboration to get its first part three than obviously slime? Super hyped up collaboration. Everyone loves it. Rimuru is one of the best characters in the game at the time. And to be fair, somehow it's still a little bit usable to the day. And you got to remember, after the new collaboration we've gotten, they've actually gone out and buffed old collab characters, which is actually something they're probably likely going to do for this collaboration because we're not going to get enough Rimuru. Although I would love to see Raphael Rimuru in his like little white robe outfit that'd be pretty cool if they wanted they can make that it's a new outfit i'll love that too but i digress what's more likely is they're gonna buff up the character and remember as a character it's kind of crazy i mean you know he works but give him more stat increase buff up his stats make him do more damage a little bit maybe add something else towards the skill effect the guys can be pretty good increase the pierce rate by like double or something the guy will be insanely good if they release him and buff him up which would be very very fun because i do think he is one of the more unique design characters in the game obviously not unique now a little bit because like infect lol 
you know, but the Abyss Ultima and the way he works in the game is so true to how the character plays. And I guess just the story of, obviously, Slime. So, uh, yeah, he's probably going to get buffed. That does apply towards the other Slime characters. Uh, they're probably not going to touch the other ones. I mean, they actually buffed up the Ultimas last time. They have to do a lot, and I mean a lot. I'm probably not going to go to the extent what you've done, like, with, obviously, Nafimi. And, you know, I guess even Ainz a little bit. But, you know, Millen, OG, Romero, and Benimaru, safe to say, they're probably going to get slept on because they're not going to get as much love. Which is right, because I don't think any really wants to play with these characters too much and um, Miller has a use a little bit in PvE content uh, but buffing up Romeo is obviously going to be really really good and you know buffing up Shuna will be cool as well Shuna is a character that didn't really get too much play even on the release of Romeo and if they lean more in towards her buffing up Romeo and just adding more towards the character that will be also really cool as well I actually don't mind and would love to see the rejuvenate ability in PvP because right now in the game no one it's just attack skills or debuffs obviously it's rare that you get a buff character and it's even more rare that you get a actual like you know recovery skill like you don't use green skills in you know pvp because you just what characters have nowadays is what percival has when you have a aoe skill that deals damage but it also heals the allies you know you'd much rather have that skill than just simply healing so yeah hopefully those two characters get buffed it'll be uh very very cool to see it but then let's talk about the new characters so of course like i said on screen now you can see the image you posted why is that related towards slime? If you're an actual slime fan, you lot know, and it was actually leaked a while ago when we first got the news about a potential part two collaboration for slime. Was Shion? Shion was it in part two, which is very surprising. And if you watch my video when he when he got leaked, I was fuming. I'll play it now for you lot. And then my favorite one, and the one that I was wanted for so long, and I don't really care about the others, it's Shion. And from the looks of it, they replaced them too. Are you mad? I've been saying for months to get my Shion in Grand Cross to get her Black Cut 1. You don't know, I got um, the statue of it. This is the outfit I want in game. Like, that's all I wanted was literally uh, Shion in Grand Cross. And are you telling me right now? I've been saying for, for a collaboration that I might even have her in the game. Are you mad? I cannot wait for Shion in Grand Cross. And if you don't know, I mean, it's not going to happen, but it's funny they planned this and he never actually did it. We got her kit kind of leaked. If you don't remember, her passive was supposedly going to be she has type advantage over every attribute in the game, which is actually a pretty broken ability. And that never came true. Obviously, the character didn't come out, but he's never actually given that passive towards any other character in the game, which is still kind of crazy to me. But yeah, as I'm sure most of you lot know from watching Slime, but Shio makes terrible food. The whole gimmick is the food. And I think, if anything, her kit was leaked to have like some sort of poisonous food. Like she had poison in her ability. So, so far, it's looking like the new collaboration. If we are going to be getting one, if the hint is towards that, very much looking like it. It is going to be a slime part three where we do get, obviously, Shion, which is obviously what I am really looking forward to. But then what about the second character? Because if it's a part three, then we're, of course, going to be getting a character alongside the new one. I doubt there's going to release one new character. They're probably going to do two, like how they've done it in the past. But who knows? Part threes, we've not, we've not seen it before. They might just say, hey, yeah, for part threes, you're only going to get one character because if you think about it we're gonna have four of the old previous characters granted for slime it's gonna be three then we're gonna get two of the old ones that's five then plus the other two that's seven collab characters on one banner the whole banner is gonna be filled with collab characters which will be actually a good thing but there's three possibilities one and the more likely one is diablo once again, if you watch the newest season of, obviously, Slime, you lot know Diablo and Shion as well did do something in, like, very similar towards episodes. And they even got, like, a draw release on towards uh, Slime Isakai Memories. They I just, they're just a pair. Like, the security duo, they love releasing these two characters together. It makes sense that it's both for them. But remember, in the leaks, we did see Veldora was supposedly meant to get a character. So he could actually become a character alongside Shion. And once again, in the leaks, not that it didn't happen, but it was a cool gimmick and we have to wait and see what happens, right? Is Veldora had Veldora's blessing where like any slime character he had it was linked to, he got like 25% of their basic stats or something along the lines of that a little bit, which will be uh what's get insane to kind of buff up like the old characters, like like Rimuru, like obviously Milan, because no one could use that buff other than the slime characters. So you know, Veldora's blessing could be kind of a broken thing if they want to bring that back. And in the third character I'm coping, I've been coping, is uh Dragon Armor Milan. This is a character I probably want to see the most in the game. It just looks so cool. She deserves her own new character, and honestly, I wouldn't mind if it was her and obviously Shion. She does get a holy weapon with a sword and whole different 
different animation. She deserves that whole new character. But, you know, if they're not going to make her character, because like, I have to wait towards part four or even part five, you know, just give it, give it us an outfit towards this Millen. I would love that. But, you know, I'm coping a little bit. So, uh, yeah, guys, that's probably going to wrap up the video. That is kind of all we have right now for the next banner, next collaboration. Is it coming next? Probably because the way Seven Seas were a little bit was as if we're not going to get a step up banner. But I do think it's still likely we could get a step up banner before the collaboration. Or they might just do a step up leading in towards November. Because I got to say something big might be coming for November. But regardless, I'm looking forward to it. If they do decide to bring a slime, I am, uh, yeah, going to be happy. Because Shion, I mean, I can't show you because he's on my desk behind me. But I have like, I have the most statues I own in my house is of Shion. So we'll have to wait and see. I'm looking forward to it. Guys, thank you for watching. Let me know what you think. And uh, yeah, peace.